How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today we're talking about Workhorse and I'm going to cover it again here in a few hours probably because they are set to have their Q3 earnings report. But I want to go over something that just came out as of about 10 minutes ago and it's an order of about 500 trucks by Pritchett. So I'm going to go over that. I'm going to talk to you about why that's important, what that could mean in terms of revenue and what to look forward to in this earnings call in the next you know, hour or two. So if you guys like this, please leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Please watch through to the end because this is all going to be really important for Workhorse and for the company. And also, if you do want to support in another way, you can hit the link down below to Weeble and get three free stocks. They're doing this for a little bit longer, and it really helps out the channel. Just deposit $100, get those three free stocks, and then buy whatever you want with them. You can sell them and buy something else. So Workhorse is up about 6% pre-market. There's been news of a vaccine, so that's causing the whole stock market to go up. But Workhorse specifically, I think, is moving up because of earnings coming out soon. A lot of people are trying to do an earnings play. But I did notice today, and this is very buried deep down. I actually found it through Weeble and through the news section and the comment section. They had a news press release from PRNewsWire.com that they are ordering 500 C-1000 all-electric delivery trucks from Pritchett Companies for National Fleet Program, and Hitachi is going to help finance this. So they are ordering a purchase of 500 all-electric C-1000 vehicles. The CEO says, with a significant order and agreement from Pritchard, we can build upon our nationwide distribution network and expand the number of potential fleet customers that will be able to operate and own a workhorse delivery truck. Along with HCA's financing programs, Pritchard will be able to offer fleet customers a variety of flexible options to start using our last mile delivery vehicles, lowering the barrier to entry for adoption and enabling total cost of ownership advantages from the outset. Now, this is the COO of Pritchard now. We will see the initial 500 vehicle purchase as being the first of many future orders and look forward to growing with Workhorse in 2021 and beyond. That's very convincing. That is a very good thing to hear from the company that's buying these vehicles. We appreciate the opportunity to be one of the first companies to commercially offer the state-of-the-art all-electric vehicles to our fleet customers and believe that the market acceptance will be resoundingly positive and swift. That's also from Joe Pritchard, the president and owner of Pritchard. To us, the Workhorse C-1000 is a significant milestone in the electrification of last mile delivery trucks. We are proud to be the financing partner to this important electric vehicle fleet program that's from Hitachi. So a lot of positive reinforcement. There are a lot of people talking positive about Workhorse. And then from CaliforniaHVIP.org, I found this too. I was trying to find some other new site that was talking about this and I couldn't except for this little bit on California HVIP, you can see Workhorse C650 battery electric step van. You can see that Pritchard is one of the dealers of this. So it kind of makes sense that they would buy the C1000 now instead of the C650, just kind of upgrade. Now, what does this mean? Well, 500 vehicles is about $25 million if they're sold at $50,000 a piece. This is a nice little bump for Workhorse, if they can actually get these vehicles made, if they can increase deliveries, if they can actually manufacture these in a timely manner. A $25 million boost is pretty nice, especially considering how they made very little last quarter. Now, a couple things that I will be looking for, because that's great to hear, but I want some more clarification from this earnings call. First of all, I kind of want to hear them talk about this. I mean, we saw it on PR Newswire, but I'd like to hear it from the CEO or the CFO, but also I want to hear them talk about their manufacturing. I really want to hear them talk about increasing the amount of delivered vehicles. I mean, they have a backlog of about 1,200 vehicles, and they've said throughout the year that they want to manufacture about 300 to 400. In last quarter, we only saw a two or three. So I really want to see 50 vehicles made, 100 vehicles made, something like that, something where they have been able to work with Hitachi and really bump up their manufacturing. I'm not really worried though if we haven't had a lot of revenue or <laughs> any net income. Obviously, we're probably not going to have any net income to speak of uh, this last quarter. 
So I'm not too worried about that. I just really want to see them hit those manufacturing numbers. But I will say this is very important for Workhorse. The fact that they've worked with Pritchard companies or Pritchard Commercial, I think is pretty important. It's a company that rents out to other companies. So you can see here they have 60,000 units that they've supplied. So they rent out to other companies. I mean, this is pretty similar to when they set out the news that they were going to work with Ryder. So it's it's really good for Workhorse to be able to work with these companies because they not only sell the vehicles, but then they're also distributed to a bunch of other companies that could then buy the vehicles. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. It's like getting residual uh, residual work and residual sales from some previous sales. And it sounds like they're also going to sell more vehicles just to Pritchett in general. And as we've been talking on this video, they have released it on their website. So this wasn't up earlier, but you can see here that it's officially on their website that they've ordered 500 C1000 all electric delivery vans. You can see exactly what they say. Through its 107 years of operating history, Pritchard Companies has developed a robust national network of partners and is one of the nation's largest commercial vehicle distributors selling over 30,000 units annually to customers across all 50 states. That's really good to see. That's really nice to hear. Just seeing that on their website makes me feel a little bit better. At first, PR Newswire was the only website that was covering it. That's good. That makes me feel good as an investor. So you can see here, pre-market is still up about 7%. So I'm going to be paying attention to the news call. This is the most important thing right now is that we get some kind of heads up on their manufacturing or something like that. Um, just making sure that they're still in a good financial position from the balance sheet and just making sure everything's going to go smoothly from here on out. So that should be in the next half an hour or so. By the time you see this though, it might already have been done. I am definitely going to make a video later today on this earnings call though. So just as a reminder too, there might be extreme volatility today. In the pre-market, we've seen moves of about three or 4% in a minute or two. So a lot of people are looking at buying, a lot of people are looking at selling, a lot of people are worried about their earnings, a lot of people are excited about their earnings. So make sure you have your game plan going into today. And I've done a video before on when I would buy and when I would sell. So I'll put that up on the end screen here along with my other video on ride stock and why I'm buying ride stock. But definitely be cautious because there's going to be a lot of change today. So definitely check out that video and make your own plan also. If you guys want to watch another video, there's one right here on Ridestock or Lordstown. And they are actually owned 10% by Workhorse. And I'm going to talk about why I bought Lordstown or Ridestock. So definitely check that out right here. Thank you guys and thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for checking out the link down below to Weeble. And I will see you right here in this video. Bye.